Hey everyone, this is Shag, and this is Mega Man 10 Proto Perfect. What this means is that it's a prototype of perfect runs. I use Proto Man, I play on easy mode, and I go through the entire game without taking damage. I'm actually kind of impressed that I managed to do that. I do use weapons a lot, though. And this is no doubt not going to be as impressive as ROMs or Pink's runs, which will probably be uploaded around the same time as this. Anyway, Pump Man is first. I really like the atmosphere in Pump Man's stage. Like the, the music and the atmosphere. Just make it kind of atmosphere. But anyway, well, this is the uh, no damage run. It is one of the least impressive looking runs in the beginning anyways. I managed to make Ah, spider run away! I managed to screw up quite a lot. Look at me missing that other spider a lot. And, if you're actually, if you're fast enough here, you can actually completely avoid those tellies, just go right under them. But no, I guess I had to stumble clumsily along. Ah, uh, Mets. I never know exactly when to, uh, fire at them. Yeah, by the way, this post-commentary recording is on June 30th, and this actual run was recorded March 6th. So it's been quite a while since I did these, so I might be surprised by things that I do. We'll find out. i take the upper path here, because I think it is easier. Oh, it's a Yakshishi, or however you say that. There's millions of them everywhere on easy mode. If you're playing on normal mode, or presumably hard mode. There is instead one of those spiders there. Also, I'm getting that one up even though I'm never gonna die. That becomes a running theme. <sighs> this guy is a pain in the scarf. Seriously. If you get like the slightest bit to the left, he comes back. But you have to, to be able to shoot at him most of the time, so it's kind of annoying, but he stayed dead there. You can always use the proto-coil, or the base treble boost thing to um, jump over the world, but I had a bit of a bad experience with that. Those purple globs that the Mets shoot slow you down. Well, that's not true, they give you a little ice physics kind of thing, but they don't count as a hit, so I'm okay. And these guys are pathetic. Haha, <laughs> I own you, Megadelly. I think the enemy names are released by now, but I don't care. So, on easy mode, those guys just shoot a short range, close burst of- Whoa! Careful there. Of water. But on other modes, they actually shoot projectiles at you, so you're gonna have to watch it. And look, it's the most useless octo battery in the universe! On other modes, there is, of course, a more annoying enemy there. And here's the Room of Patience, which I lack. And now, you can completely ignore that guy, but I guess I killed him anyways. Oh, spiders. I think there's more spiders in this room on harder difficulties. And another Yakshishi. Those always appear directly before the boss, and around the midpoint, I think. And speaking of the boss, it's Pumpman! dun da 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 On harder difficulties, he's actually harder. Because in easy mode, he has this really pathetic shield that only consists of four things. You can just shoot through it, and it's incredibly easy to dodge. On harder difficulties, his shield is actually like a shield, and you have to stand directly under it to be guaranteed of not taking a hit. But, whatever. I chose to do Pump Man first, because I do believe he's the easiest on easy mode. On hard mode, he can also throw his pump handle at you or something. Kind of ridiculous. And he's dead! Look at him be dead. It was a few seconds ago that he was dead, actually. Just look at it. And now, we get our first weapon. Oh joy, oh joy. I love this weapon so much. The water shield. I might have said something... I might have had some disparaging remarks about this thing during my blind, sick, crappy run, but I don't remember. But this is by far the best weapon in the game. Yes, it's better than the triple blade, in my opinion. At least it got me out of more jams. I think I probably abused it a little bit. 
And so our first level is down. It's going to look like I'm going to do Solar Man next, but no, I actually did Sheep Man. Stay tuned for outtakes, analysis, and a speedrun. Not mine, though. And this is Shag, welcome back to Pump Man. This is the extras video. Oh look, I got that hard rock achievement. But it's not gonna last very long, because the first part of this video is the outtakes. Now, Pump Man as a boss is pretty easy. But I am as a Mega Man player am pretty bad. So if you get cornered by him, it's still dangerous. Anyway, this freaking shrimp, honestly. Screw this guy, we're taking the top route. Surely nothing will go wrong. Nothing at all. This is the safest plan I have ever concocted. What a shame. Speaking of corners, I guess that's kind of getting cornered by a telly. It's more like they're just... I don't know. Here's Pump Man again. We're going to get cornered by him again. I can smell it. Video looks kind of weird, but I don't know why. Doesn't matter. Come on, Pump Man. Oh no. And once again, more outrageous telly outtakes. Sigh. Anyway, with the outtakes gone, let's compare Pump Man with the other stages and the other bosses in terms of number of outtakes instead of a regular difficulty analysis. In stages, he ties for last with only six outtakes, and in bosses, he only has he only killed me twice. But there are still bosses lower than him. Won't tell you who, but I will say that in Wily Four, he did not get me once. Alrighty then. With that gone, the only thing left is to show the current best legit time trial, which is not really current since this was recorded around the same time as the run itself. But, anyway, I'll just shut up and let you enjoy the rest of this. This has been Shag. Next time is Solar Man. I mean Sheep Man. Thank <laughs> you.